What's up guys, it is Ugly Shrew here, welcome to my Let's Play of Sigil. Sigil is a long-awaited WAD designed by John Romero, who was one of the lead developers of id Software, and one of the lead designers of the original Doom games that came out in the 90s. We've been awaiting this for quite some time now, I think since like last year. Uh, the WAD is sort of an add-on episode of the original Doom, so it sort of picks up in almost like an episode 5. Uh, and it uses the original Doom WAD, um, meaning it only has nine maps, and we should be able to complete it within a pretty short period of time. So, uh, a lot of people were really disappointed about this WAD. I don't know if it was due to the length of it, um, or due to the difficulty. I don't know, but, um, so far with the maps I've played, it seems excellent. So, um, I do admit that I'm not playing an official copy of it. The version I'm using is actually a leaked version that someone posted on Xandronum earlier today. It is currently Wednesday, May 29th, and the WAD doesn't officially come out for another two more days. I'm just going to be out of town over the weekend, and I won't be back till next week, and I won't be able to get a video up uh, on Friday right away as I in had initially planned. So, um, some people got it early because they pre-ordered it or something like that. Uh, it's just been a rough month financially, and to be quite honest, I didn't fully trust John Romero due to his history of canceled games and Kickstarters uh, that just sort of went down the shitter and other quote-unquote failures over his career. So I didn't really feel comfortable dropping the money on it, and I said this before, I don't really think John Romero is a bad guy or anything. I just don't trust him enough to drop that money on something that I haven't really seen yet, so... Anyway, I played through a couple of the maps here, and so far it's really exceeded my expectations. I have zero complaints at all. It's really fucking difficult, but that's something that we sort of expect from John Romero. So, um, I didn't play his other wads or his other maps that he designed, like Tech Gone Bad, and I think he released another one to the public. Uh, I didn't play either of those. I think I just watched Ultima's playthroughs, and they seemed okay, but they really weren't my cup of tea. Uh, these ones seem a, a lot more up my, you know, a lot more up my alley. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what Romero has to deliver. So let's go ahead and get started. So we will want to keep the pistol out. We'll pick up the shotgun, but I'm telling you right now, keep the pistol out and try not to get hit because your health is very important. And I already got hit twice, almost three times there. Try to dance around, try to get far away from that specter if you can. So this uh, music in this wad is badass. It's actually written by Buckethead, and Buckethead is actually one of my long-term... So I'm like a huge long-term fan of Buckethead. I've been listening to him for years. I, I actually went as Buckethead for Halloween back in like seventh grade or something. And um, yeah, this the music is just so fitting for this wad. The, um, the music tracks weren't like... I don't think they were custom written. I think like one or two of them may have been custom for the game. Oh, first things first. So we had to shoot that little eye that was in the wall. Next thing we're gonna do is shoot that one and that's going to raise this bridge. I think one or two of the songs were custom for Romero. Secret number one is here. We'll go around, jump, or grab that. And then we can shoot him across and then try to hug this wall to come this way. But either way, yeah, the soundtrack is fantastic. So we'll come down here. We kind of have to hurry up because the rad suit doesn't last forever and we have a lot of ground to cover. Um, where is it? This way here. We'll follow this all the way down. It's going to be secret number three. We'll grab the chain gun. Grab the shells here. That's super fucking important to grab. Grab this, which is secret number four. And now I have to dance around the Cacodemon and get back up here. Usually he's up the other way. <laughs> that scared the fucking piss out of me. But yeah, now that we stalled the red suit, I'm going to come back this way and just pick up what I might have missed, including these shells here. Oh shit, we have to come back up this way. So I tried to play this um, with vanilla controls, so I'm talking like arrow keys to move, control to shoot, shift to sprint, all that, and it just, it was not working out. <laughs> it's like I used to be able to play with vanilla controls, but those times have, are now long gone. Um, I don't know how the hell I'm going to lure out these imps, I should have killed them 
Well, I still had the red suit. That's okay, that's working. So yeah, I'm back to WASD and Mouse Look. Ramiro had originally designed the game to be played with. Oh god. I forgot I still have to kill him. He initially designed the game to be played with vanilla controls, and with like vanilla source ports, I think. I mean, he's using all vanilla textures. So I don't see why it wouldn't be compatible with uh, older source ports. I'm gonna have to shoot that, and that's gonna raise the bridge to get across here. Yeah, I can't do vanilla controls. <laughs> And if I find that picture of me dressed up as Buckethead, I will 100% upload it. Okay. Jump up here, and this is the most lethal part of the map coming up. Let me kill him first. Let's see if I can manage to do this without dying, because there's no armor here. Yeah. First threat, uh are going to be the uh, shotgunners there because they will chunk the ever-loving shit out of you. But it is so easy to die there <laughs> in map one. But that is it. And that was uh, map one, the uh, Baphomet's Domain. <sighs> yeah, this is actually a fucking awesome map. This is like one of the coolest map ones I've ever played. I haven't actually played like um, many of any sort of mods for the original Doom WAD. All of the um, WADs that I played were all like Mega WADs for uh, Doom 2. This is actually, I think, the first one that I might have played in God knows how long. And um, so far, this one's a fucking blast. <laughs> I'm loving this, man. And thank you, John Romero, for uh, for creating this. And honestly, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the next few maps. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. I'll see y'all next time at Sheol. Sheol. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's Hebrew. But, oh, and one more thing. Ghost, I actually adjusted my fucking gamma. I put it back down to defaults to 1, because I had it up to like 1.25 or something like that, because apparently it was fucking blinding. I wish there was a way to reduce the saturation or how deep the reds are, because uh, YouTube, when it sort of compresses my video, it turns it into uh, the grossest looking thing ever because of like the deeper reds. But, uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you all next time at Map 2. Take care. Bye-bye.